Spring Ball Day 29, boys. Today's going to be a little different. We're doing a full day of eating, and today's shoulder day. So we're starting off with syrup, liquid IV in here, uh, just, you know, for electrolytes and some carbs, and then these donuts. So the carb up should be pretty interesting today, and uh, the pump should be pretty incredible, like it usually is whenever I have tons of carbs like that. So definitely looking forward to it. And, um... Yeah, we got a oh, Smith Machine overhead press, super ultra heavy. We're going to go for 225 for like five today. Uh, hopefully that's that's possible because last time I think we got three. Or maybe we could even get more weight with more reps like we did with squat. Who knows? Side raises, rear out flies, tricep pushdowns. Last time we did tricep pushdowns, we had to use two different stacks because one stack wasn't enough. So, anyway, I will see you guys in the gym. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, we're having creatine in there and also a little bit of salt water. We're having about a half teaspoon of salt in here. We're going to mix it up, and it's going to give us a crazy pump. Okay, update. We're leaving for the gym a little later than I thought. So, with that said, we have another 12 ounces of coffee here with three ice cubes just to cool it the frick down. And then we also are going to have a little more syrup because I don't think I had enough earlier. And, um... Yeah, we're just going to be super carved up, super pumped for today's workout. And, uh, I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated if anything else changes. This is probably the tightest wrap I've ever got, which is good. Generally speaking, the tighter the better. Ah, it's too tight. Ah. My God, did you see that? Five did you reps. see that? Five reps. Those are awesome. And I got so, dude, you there was so much weight. Reps. Well, I, abs I absolutely reps. did. I could not have got that without. The elbow wraps help quite did a bit. Really? Yeah. They probably, I've heard that they can increase it, whatever you do, by 30 pounds. Oh, wow. So, part of the reason I, I like them on this, though, it's not because these give me pain or anything, mm -hmm. but just be, I'm ready to spot by the way if you need it, but just because it takes the triceps largely out, okay. at least for me. And so, so it's mainly just shoulders moving it, shoulders and wraps instead of shoulders and triceps. Go, Dad. Let's go. I'm five on the other side of the way for a 45. Let's go. Shh. Mm. 
Joe, come here. Come here. Come here. I just want you to see this for a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's pretty cool that your brother can do the full stack plus a plate. The heat is getting huge that nobody wants you to know. Lift stupid, absurd, heavy. Just do more than you did last week, and I mean for real. And fuel that progress with your diet. Carb up tremendously before every lift. Get in electrolytes. Be properly hydrated. Take creatine. That's another thing that's been helping my gains a lot. Because uh, I just started it recently. And uh, just lift heavy, man. Lift dumb heavy. Don't be afraid to get a little body English in there. All right.
We're out of here. All right, boys, continuing on the full day of eating. The only thing that I haven't shown you that I already ate is Miss Freshly's Hershey cupcake thing. A quesarito here, you know what I'm saying? Double steak with cheese in it, lettuce, boom boom sauce, jalapeno ranch, and a chicken slider with mac and cheese bites, and a little bit of lettuce. So, plus we got a friggin' diet sprite off to the side. I'm thinking we're also going to have um, something more for protein because this quesarito has probably got like 80 grams of protein. And um, so I'm probably going to have a protein bar and then like a Oikos protein yogurt, but we'll see when we get there. All right, boys, quick update. I forgot I had grilled chicken with pasta earlier and some corn, broccoli, and carrots. That was majority pasta, not that much chicken. I'd count that as probably 20 grams of protein for like... 900 calories or something like that and then i had a small brownie where i went and it was about that big with some nuts in it two cookies and i think it was two chips as well just two random chips don't know what they were don't know what kind now i'm having this protein bar from kirkland 21 grams of protein 190 calories that's going to finish off my day and guys i'm i just want to tell you something okay uh carving up tremendously has been one of the most helpful things in my training for sure I'm seeing insane strength gains week to week. Like today, my overhead press went up by 10 pounds and two reps from last week. Think about that level of progressive overload. If I could continue that like week after week, let's say I continue this for five more weeks. And keep in mind, I've been doing Smith Machine overhead press for a while now. So it's not like it's neurological adaptations. At this point, I'm just that means it's just pure strength. Um, next week, let's say I add another 10 pounds. Okay, that would mean I'm doing 245 pounds on the overhead press, all right? But right today, like I said, 10 pound increase, 235 pounds for five reps is what I did today. But I'm gonna just keep going. Take the progressive overload where I can get it and just get huge, humongous, protruding, gigantic gorilla shoulders. That's gonna be cool, it's gonna be sweet. You know, I'm thinking by the end of this bulk, we're gonna see a three plate overhead press okay on the smith machine that's gonna be dope you know and elbow wraps which would translate to probably like a two 285 you know 275 raw smith machine overhead press which would be cool then we did side raises with the 40s i think i largely i don't want to say mastered but i got pretty strong with the 35s on dumbbell side raises um i did that for a while Got to the point where I can pause up here with 35 for like a second uh, for, you know, several reps. Control the eccentric nicely. So I'm like, you know what? Today, this week I'm going to move up to 40. So I moved up to 40s. Felt a little uncomfortable on the shoulder joints. Felt like it started to get heavy. But not like an uncomfortability in the sense of, uh, you know, potential for injury or anything. It was just like uh, <clears throat> more so just that I need to get used to that weight because it's very heavy, if that makes sense. So... Eventually, we're going to get really good with the 40s, super good with that, get to the point where you can pause the 40s the same way we did the 35s, then we're going to move up to 45, same thing, 50, same thing, 55, same thing, 60, same thing, super huge strided delts, okay, out the wazoo, all right, then we also did, I, I included it because I, I, I put it in a caption, uh, earlier in the video that I did 235 pounds, which was one pin away from the full stack on the uh, pec deck on the rear delt fly. So that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that, that I'm that freaking strong on the reverse fly that I was literally able to do one pin away from the full stack. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, 
that would be very hard to do just a normal chest fly with. So I'm not really sure why I'm so strong at that, but it is what it is, man. I might have to try it again just to see. I could probably max it out pretty easily now for normal flies, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Tricep pushdowns as well. We did freaking, you guys saw, a whole plate extra on the, on the full stack, which was sweet. So cool. I can't wait to eventually do, you know, two plates extra. I mean, my gosh. I don't even know how I would fit it. At that point, I may need to buy a gym pin or put an extra pin from another machine into it or something. But a gym pin, for those of you who don't know, is literally just instead of a traditional pin, um, it fits like a pin into the stack and you just put it into like the center of the, of the weight stack and you, then you can fit a plate onto it and it's like a barbell sleeve. So you can legit just throw on plates and plates extra onto a cable stack, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to have to get that eventually, but I'm thinking we get probably a few more months before I need to. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys tomorrow. I might do biceps and forearms, but we'll see.